Chairman and, and Commissioners, um, Danny Wolf, 353 Southeast 66th Street, Stark. Um, I live at Bedford Lake. I wouldn't want to be in your seat tonight. Half the people in here are going to love you, half the people are going to hate you, but you're doing your job, so for that I, I commend you. I don't have a dog in the hunt as far as, I, I don't know, I don't know enough about this to, to say do or don't. The question I would ask you as the board is have you done your due diligence? Because everybody I have heard from tonight is on payroll with Kim Morris. So it makes sense to me, and all of us can go on look. My wife sat there and looked on, on, on um, her phone just a few minutes ago, sec.gov, all these different agencies we can see on there, see all the violations and, and the things that have not been taken care of. That's the stuff that I would want satisfied. If, I'm, if, I, would, if I was sitting in your chair and I was gonna give an approval to something, I would wanna know that these things have been taken care of and I am doing what's in the best interest of the people. Um, I understand from what, what the gentleman's saying that it's not gonna mess with the aquifer, but what about the lakes? I know if we dig a 30 foot hole, I mean, I live on Bedford Lake. I see right there at, at Crystal Lake, water runs out of that Alligator Creek, which is just a trickle runs in Brooklyn Lake. So if we, we start digging a 30 foot hole, where's that water gonna run when it rains? It's gonna run in the deepest spot. It's not gonna go to the areas that we need it. And the lakes are already deficient. Fortunately, we had all the big storms that kind of brought us some more water, but, but we're starting to get low again. So I would just ask you guys, have you done your due diligence? Due diligence? If you have not, I would ask you to floor this thing for now and, um, and revisit it. Nothing says it has to be done tonight. But if you're gonna vote, you're gonna vote for the people and what's best for this, for this county. I would ask you to make sure that you know what you're talking about, not just what you've been told. Having an independent agency come in, from what I understand, that's what you're doing with the phosphate mine. You have somebody, an independent, that y'all have hired, but the phosphate company's gonna have to pay them when it's all said and done, am I correct? That being the case, why can't we do that with this here the same way? Just makes good walking around sense. I knew nothing about this until a lady shut up my door yesterday, and I'm not gonna lie to you, got my, my pants in all bunched up when I started reading all this stuff. Um, how much that's true and how much is not, I don't know. We can read a lot of things, but I would ask y'all to do your due diligence to make sure that, that you're covering all the bases. We're not just pushing something through because somebody's been here. Because you can go on the internet and look at a lot of different things. Um, but a lot of it's government funded or, or government stated. So I think we can kind of trust that. So look at a person's track record, look at the company's track record, get an idea where they, where they may or may not go. That way we make a good decision. Chair Borden, I kind of feel like you should have given swimming lessons to that to that local hero. Tell you, um, that, that was amazing. He's way actually going to take a swimming lesson. So that's, 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 awesome. that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. More lines.